All right, so we got this together this far. Um, easiest thing to do here, just pour on the big four millimeter screws in here to kind of hold everything together along the nut. To establish, we're going to put this in the one position, which is like zero camber. Um, so once you do that, you can kind of start putting your other parts together. Now, this is for a regular servo. Um, there's actually two sets of parts here. Um, these are, I think, 13 and 14 on this tree, and then on here there's 9 and 10. Those are, if you, if you put like a mini 12 scale servo, you can actually put that on with those other uh, servo mounts, I guess you could call these, um, which I think a lot of people don't realize what they are. So anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm just going to take these dudes and put them on here for now. Um, I'm not going to put the servo in right the second. You can, the way you mount the servo, you, know, you can put it in here just with regular servo tape here. Um, you can also shoe glue them in if you're going to, you know, the lazy, the lazy way to do it is servo tape. That's easy. There's the shoe glue. The nice part about shoe glue, um, you can actually orient the servo however you want because there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, let me see if I can grab a servo here and show you what I'm talking about. There's several different ways you can mount the thing in here. Um, You know, standard ways, the old school to my way like that. Mount it straight up and down. But there's other guys who've done something like this. You know, I've seen it done that way. Um, if you look at a lot of the some of the Japanese websites, they have pictures of the races they have where the guys will actually mount them. You know, slightly like this, on sort of a tilt angle. You know, I suppose you could also probably mount something like that. I don't know. I've never tried that, but mounting it back at an angle is usually to kind of calm the car down. Um, mounting it like this, you're going to have a constant, you know, the servo links are not going to sweep up and down, they're just going to sweep side to side which is probably a totally different Ackerman effect. Um, but usually I, I've been mounting like this and I... You can, there's several servo savers out there. Um, I like a Kimbro Medium, which is the black colored one. Um, you know, I've seen guys with the, the big giant Kimbros, um, the, the little Kimbro, the Tamiya setup. Um, the thing I noticed, I tried the Tamiya, I tried the big Kimbro, the little Kimbro, the medium Kimbro. Medium Kimbro seemed like it, for whatever reason, had, excuse me, had the best lap time and the best steering. So that's what I went with. Um, which is, it's kind of a long day to test all that crap because the Kim, you know, changing servo savers and then reorienting everything is a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, I'm going to put on here the fluorine coated 5mm ball nut. Um, it's the same thing as anything else, but they're smoother, I guess. I, uh, I've seen a lot, of, I've seen guys do it this different ways. Some of them will actually take, 
you know, like a a regular pan head screw or countersunk screw and come in through the top of the nut, you know, sort of like this. So have that sticking out the top and then that secures the arm on there, um, which is a good way to do it. I just right now don't have any screws of the right length, so I'm going to use the regular grub screw. Drive that down in there a little bit. And do the same on the other side. And you can throw this guy out of here. Same on the other side. And get your ball driver. Or whatever this is, what is this? Five and a half millimeter driver, is that what that is? Yeah, five 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 point five. Run them down on there. So now, actually, you can kind of put this on your tube. What I'll do in this case, I'll put the pivot mount in the back there. This is the aluminum piece. There uh, also is a plastic piece as well. Um, I've tried both. I really don't notice that much of a difference. The car's fairly stiff just because there's so many posts and, and places where everything mounts. So you really, I haven't found a huge difference between you know plastic parts and, and aluminum parts for that matter. The only thing maybe a little extra weight back there might be helpful. I don't know if that's 100% for sure, but something to think about. So I'm going to throw this on here real quick. This isn't exactly, I guess, 